Hey, you guys, genealogy class peoples. I thought I'd make a quick video, try to do this in under five minutes if I can. Um, I thought it might be kind of fun to see what I, for you to see what I just found. It, it's a little bit of document detective, which is something Cindy talks to, to us about quite often. And uh, I was able to use my subscription with newspapers.com. So what happened is, and I'm going to green share. I was able to find, I'm putting in Mark Edward, my boyfriend's um, genealogy. I'm trying to get it to, to, um, you know, get it into the, uh, get it into Ancestry. And I made it part of my account so that I would be able to, you know, use my Ancestry account to be able to, to look for things for him because of course his, he doesn't have anything. And this is kind of fun. So I've traced his family all the way to 1840s to England, Lincolnshire, um, England. Let me pull up the right screen. Sorry, you guys. And where's my ancestry account? Hold on. I'm going to screen share the family tree. I know this is gripping, gripping entertainment, isn't it? Okay, so I got over here to Henry Wilson, and I, you know, I don't know anything about these people, and Mark Edward knows nothing about these people either. But one thing that I found, you know, by using the hints, is somebody had, um, you know, I filled out, I did everything I possibly could, but then sometimes you get these random things. And you're like, well, what does that mean? And how do I know that tags to my person? So one of the hints I had was somebody kept, uh, who had clipped an article from a newspaper and that article from the newspaper is this one. I made a screen capture of it and I, I made a screen capture of the, um, even the writing they'd put on the side, this part over here, so that I could see what they'd written. And also it says on here is Henry Wilson Confectioner, Mary Wilson Confectioner, Salt Lake, Salt, uh, Salt City. Now, I don't know if that's my, the Henry Wilson I'm trying to, to go to. I don't know anything about him. I don't know him being a confectioner. That's the first I've heard of it. But they've written over here on the side that they originally got this article from newspapers.com and that it says that Henry Wilson and Mary Wilson are part of a memorial of citizens of Utah against the admission of the territory to the state in 1872. So it sounds like these possible Henry Wilson and his wife Mary might have been anti-American, you know, Utah becoming a state. So how do you prove it? You know, how, how do you know? Um, I know nothing about these people. They're not even my blood family, but let's see, how can I prove it? So I went to newspapers.com and I pulled up the, um, let me screen share that over. I pulled up the newspaper for that day because I have a subscription and let me share it over here. And I, and sure enough, their name is on here. I'm not going to zoom in too far because it's not that interesting, but I wanted to see what it said over here. And it does, what it seems to be is that it is just like a logging of all the people living in that area during, during the um, 1870s. And they were anti, um, I guess like, you know, all the residents in the area paid some amount of money to be put in the newspapers say, I am not for the US, become, um, Utah becoming part of the US. So I, I saved this because this wasn't in my, this wasn't included in the um, uh, ancestry. Um, I wanted the whole page, you know, with the date and, and naming what the page was and all that. So, so I went there and I saved all this and I saved the, the little clipping that had the tiny bit of information. And then I even double checked and went over to, to the Wikipedia <laughs> to make sure that those dates make sense. And it says that the, um, Utah was admitted in 1896. So that does make sense. So it seems like that would have been really po uh, talked up a lot in the news in 1870s that Utah might become a state. And the last thing I did, now here's how I put it all together. Let me see. I've got like 900 
900 um, <laughs> um, tabs open here. So, <laughs> so forgive me. Let me find which one it is. I was doing something earlier when I said it'd probably be easier to explain just to show you a video. Oh, that's not it. Oh, Gerbic, 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 Gerbic. Let's just go back over here to Ancestry. Oh, I know where it is. Durr. I thought I already pulled it up. Here it is right here. This photo. So I was going through and doing all my census. You know, trying to make sure I have the census going back as far as I can. I always start the most recent year I can get, go back 10 years, go back 10 years, go back 10 years. And then hopefully you can tell that the, that it's correct because you're looking at the, you know, the, the family growing or not growing, going in reverse. So I found this census and it matches up and it's 1851 in England. And sure enough, I found who here, Henry Wilson, and what does it say? The confectioner. So I said to myself, that must be the same guy. So I'm just including this really quick video of you to see how I played a little bit of a document detective and was able to use different kinds of uh, um, uh, documents to be able to try to put this together. So I feel fairly confident that this Henry Wilson that I already proved, oh, 1841, is the correct Henry Wilson, is also the same person who was in a newspaper in 1876 complaining that he doesn't want to be, um, you try to be made part of the, the nation. And um, I think that's kind of cool because it just took everything that I had been learning and put it into some a little area so that I could make use of it. So hope you found that interesting. Thanks, guys. Bye.